A Montreal woman is sharing her experience of getting clean. Leanne Berry is preparing to mark 10 years of sobriety. Berry opened a shelter to help other women, and she's written a book about how she did it. Now it's also been translated in French. Into French, rather. Duke Eatman has more. People are coming to consult. For years, Leanne Berry struggled with addiction to crack cocaine. Her debilitating dependency caused her to serve about 10 years on and off in prison. What I've seen in my life is that everyone has some dysfunction in their home, but I took it to another level, you know? It was my choices that brought me to where I went, but my brothers didn't make those choices. They made different ones. Now she's telling the story of how she finally broke free of her addiction in a book called Seven Times Rise. I had six times where I really got up and I, I started to get my life back together and I started to be great, and then I would fall. So the seventh time I rose was May 1st, 2014, and it's, I'm still here. One of those times that finally pushed her to get clean was the death of her son, Devon, who was gunned down in the same streets that almost swallowed up his mother. I know that he's looking down and saying, wow, I knew you had it in you, Mom. It's heartwarming, right? It's fulfilling. Two years ago, Barry opened Liberty House in this quiet West Island neighborhood. The center offers a space for women who have completed a drug treatment program but still need support to stay on the right path. Once they come here, we build a plan of reintegration with them. Uh, we assist them in uh, referring them to community resources they might need. Um, and I've never had a woman come here that says, I have this problem, and we couldn't find a solution in the community. Barry says she believes that redemption and recovery are goals that can be achieved by almost anyone if they're determined enough. I got clean and sober at 46 years old. It's never too late. And I have women coming here. I have a woman coming here in two weeks, 59 years old. It's never too late, you know? As long as there's life, there's hope. I always say that. Leanne hopes her book can help others along that road to recovery. Duke Keatman, CBC News, Point Claire.